Hello guys, Soft Tony here, welcome back to my channel and in today's video we will be creating a super cool and popular retro or vintage look without using any third party plugins. We will add a lots of effects that you can customize according to your needs and I'll show you my way of creating these effects in the simplest way. And before we begin make sure to subscribe to my channel, also hit the like button and turn on the bell notification so you never miss any of my upcoming video clips. So let's jump into After Effects and get started! Alright we're here in After Effects and as you can see I have already created the final composition. This is the Media 01, of course you will import your own footage and for the first step let's create solid layer, go right click to create new solid layer. This is gonna be base color okay 90 20 by 1080 and then hit okay go here in the facts and preset and find fill effect okay drag and drop onto this solid layer and change color to maybe this type of orange color something like this hit okay and for the blending mode instead of normal change to overlay and if you can find blending modes just hit here toggle switches and modes for the next step let's go right click to create new adjustment layer this is gonna be Triton, all right. Now select this adjustment layer, go here in the facts and preset and find Triton effect. Drag and drop onto the adjustment layer. And here for the midtones, let's change to this dark gray color. Hit OK and now hit T for the opacity and lower it down to maybe around 80%. Okay, now let's create another adjustment layer. Go right click to create adjustment layer. And this is gonna be curves, okay. Now select this one, go here in the facts and preset again find curves drag and drop onto the adjustment layer and now let's make a s curve to get a little bit of contrast here in the scene something like this okay and for the next step let's create another adjustment layer go right click find here adjustment layer and this is gonna be exposure go again here in the facts and preset find exposure effect drag and drop onto the adjustment layer and here you can play around with the exposure maybe 0.4 or something like this and this is already looking cool now let's create another adjustment layer. Okay, this is gonna be hue and saturation. Select this one, find hue and saturation effect. Okay, drag and drop onto the adjustment layer. And here for the master saturation, let's go to around 20 or 30. Okay, maybe to around 30, all right. Let's also add another adjustment layer, find here new adjustment layer. Okay, and this is gonna be unsharp mask. Go here and find unsharp mask effect. Also drag and drop onto the adjustment layer and here for the amount let's go 200 okay and for the radius let's type 4 and this is already looking great. Now let's duplicate this adjustment layer or go repeat the process find here new adjustment layer this is gonna be fast blur okay go and find fast blur in effects and preset fast box blur drag and drop onto the adjustment layer and here for the blue radius type 0.5. And now we have added a little bit of blur and our scene is looking awesome. Also for the next adjustment layer, let's create here again. Okay, this is gonna be noise. Also go here in the facts and preset, find noise. Drag and drop onto the adjustment layer. Uncheck this option, use color noise. And for the amount of noise, let's go to around 20%. And for the final effect, let's also add fractal noise go right click repeat everything adjustment layer i'll just type here fn select this one find fractal noise all right and here let's make further adjustments for the fractal type instead of basics change to dynamic okay and for the noise type instead of this first option change to linear for the contrast let's go to around maybe 170 brightness minus 80 and complexity let's go to around 7 now open up this transform option, uncheck uniform scaling, scale width to around 30 and scale height, let's go to around 3000. And now here you can also offset turbulence like so and for the blending mode change here to add. Okay, readjust it a bit more if you need. Also you can play around with the contrast, brightness and everything else. And also let's add for the final effect vignette, go right click, create adjustment layer again, this is gonna be vignette. Okay, find here vignette effect, drag and drop onto the adjustment layer. And now let's make edges darker, maybe something like this. 
just play around until you're satisfied with the vignette with the final results and now when we hit zero here in the final scene we have this cool looking vintage footage and also real beauty here is that you can also in every moment click on each individual adjustment layer to change everything here to readjust if you need and for me this is looking great all right guys that was everything for today's tutorial you can experiment with those effects I have shown you this cool technique and you can create your own retro and vintage footage and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe and like button also take a look on my channel for even more great tutorials and also you can write me a comment down below in the comment section what to do next and until next time stay creative and bye bye